Lots of tax benefits with real estate. Um, the one that most people talk about would be, you know, you get to depreciate it. And that's fine. I, I think that's just kind of icing on the cake. That's not the big one for me. The big one for me is you get to choose when or if you pay tax on your gain. If you never sell your property, you know, you're not going to pay tax. You can exchange your property with a 1031 exchange tax deferred to other properties. So if you don't like house on ABC Street, and you, because the demographics are changing, you had that property for 10 or 15 years, and you see, yeah, it's starting to go on the decline. I'd like to sell that property, and I've got a hot buyer today. If I just sell it conventionally, conventionally, and have that buyer you know, pay me cash, I'm going to pay tax on my gain. And then I'll take the lesser amount of equity and go put it in another property. Well, that's, that's not efficient. We talked about what, what tax rates of 15 or 28 percent do to decimate your, your growth. So what if I can take my entire equity, whatever it is in that property, and exchange it tax deferred to the other property I want? So you can do that and not to pay any tax. So you can continue to compound it and grow your estate, grow your net worth without paying tax if you choose to do so. There's times to take money off the table. There's times maybe when we're in a lower capital gains rate like we are right now, maybe if you've got a big gain, maybe it, maybe it makes sense to get the cash and pay the tax. So I'm not saying it's always one or the other, but you have to do things for a reason, on purpose. So that's on some, what someone like John Groom does so well. I mean, he can look at those things and say, you know, if you do this this year, then, then you'll offset something this year. You know, figure out why, have a reason why. Don't just do it because it's, it's the slickest thing you just heard. Just always have a reason why you want to do it.